all right guys it's been a good day today and i think i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do my um my first cook here in the uh, in the truck my first full cook here and what i'm gonna be preparing tonight is a couple of steaks with some mushrooms and some veggies i'm gonna kind of try to saute everything see if i can make a little sauce out of it and then that's what i'll be eating i'll be eating some steak and veggies tonight mm -mm -mm. let's get started So we're waiting for uh, the pan to heat up here. It's a electric a ceramic coated electric skillet that I got from Walmart for 20 bucks. It's a Farberware, so they make pretty good stuff. So I would think it would, you know, this is my first time trying it out, so we'll see how it goes. But I do like uh, this keto blend um, extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil spray that I use. I used it a little bit on the uh, on the steaks themselves just to kind of help stick the seasoning on them you can use it some people like to use butter and stuff like that too it doesn't matter really however you want to do it <laughs> but yeah this is going to be quick i mean i used a pretty much a chunk of a bell pepper got some carrots i'm gonna put the steak in there and i'm gonna put the mushrooms in there as soon as this thing gets kind of heated up and then we'll go from there All right, guys, well, this is just about done. That's a quick little, just a quick little cook there. I don't like my steaks to be, I think it's about good there. I'll go ahead and take the steaks off at this point. I think those are good to go. Let's get these veggies finished up here. Let those sit for a little bit longer and then we'll chow down. All right, so our veggies are done. Smother them all on top of these here. All that good, good. Create ourselves a little medley here. Mmm. Go. And we're just 
look at that mini steaks smothered in veggies that looks pretty good if you ask me I like I like to put all kinds of all kinds of veggies and whatnot when I cook steaks and whatnot some people just like to eat steaks by themselves I like it with a little bit of extra stuff but not bad pretty good looks good Let's see how it tastes My, got my trusty utensils here. <laughs> Let's see. See if I can cut this steak with plastic. The plasticware. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Not pretty good there. Try it with some mushrooms, carrots. Oh my, oh my lord. That's a pretty good for me. That's a pretty good for me, guys. Woo! Success. Damn. Damn, that's... That is over. Alright, guys, so the cleanup. Got two spray bottles. One with ditch detergent and one with just water. And a bunch of paper towels. <laughs> so I just start off by just spraying the cutting board here that I used. Spray with a little bit of soap. Spray with a little bit of water. Get my sprayers to work. These sprayers were like a dollar at Walmart, so you know they're not like the most perfect thing in the world. Oh lord, look at that. There we go. Do that. I'm just gonna grab my paper towels. I'm gonna grab my paper towels now. I'm just gonna wipe these off. And I mean, that's it. I mean. All there is to it so the cutting board i'll put that off to the side for just a minute and we'll do one more i'll do one more like final thing when it comes to the cleaning but now let's get the knives let's get the rest of our stuff cleaned up Gotta, I mean, you gotta improvise where you can. You know, you don't have, uh, you don't have a sink or anything. I mean, I got a bucket. I could, I could, if I wanted to, I could pour water in there and do it. But I mean, that just creates more of a mess, and it's just easier to do it this way. Oh, see, that's all nice and shiny now. Same thing with the tongs here. And while I'm doing this, I'm already creating a kind of a bit of a solution in here already in the pan when I get to the pan I'll save the pan for last make sure in your truck that you carry a ton of paper towels you are gonna need them all the time Sure you carry at least like maybe you know, four at least four rolls with you you can store them uh, you can store them under the bed or you can store them on top of your bed or wherever you want to store them but I would I would overstock on paper towels 
because if you run out of paper towels, you're gonna be in trouble. That's good to go. And that just leaves the pan here that's left. So we'll go ahead and put a little bit more detergent in there. Actually, that's not that's not true. I forgot. The lid. I'll do the lid first. Clean that up. Yeah, that, that cook with the steak and whatnot only took me about 10 minutes it's not very long and I'll tell you guys it was pretty delicious and not that there's anything completely wrong with uh, eating truck stop food and whatnot but the more you eat truck stop food the less likely the less likely you are to stay healthy that's what I, I mean that's pretty much what it is these truck stops they know they know who they're catering to <laughs> you know and that's not and that's not to say that all truck drivers are, are unhealthy and whatnot but hey a, ma a majority of truck drivers are are on the side of you know ob uh, of being obese and not being healthy enough and it's not because and a lot of it is not necessarily because you know they're just they're, they're just obese people and that's just what they are it's really it's really the convenience of things that's what it comes down to because i'll tell you even coming from someone like me who likes to cook and likes to meal prep and doesn't like to eat fast food all the time i'll tell you that it, out here sometimes sometimes that convenience is what draws you to these truck stops sometimes you're just like man i don't want to sit here and and cook or i don't want to sit here and make a sandwich or i don't want to sit here and eat this little eat this little salad or whatever i want to go in and i want to eat me some mickey d's i want to eat me some chicky nuggies i want to eat me some some hardies or i want to eat me a a nice big old subway foot long sandwich with everything on it you know that kind of thing and so it's easy just from a convenience standpoint to be like you know that's what i'm gonna do what happens is that convenience then becomes a repetition and you end up doing it all the time and at that point that's when you start seeing things like you start you start getting unhealthy you start gaining a lot of weight out here and that's just not something you want to do long term at least something you shouldn't strive for i think i mean to each everyone's own whatever makes you feel comfortable but i'll tell you that the less healthy the less healthier you are out here the more difficult it is to just move around and and be be a, be able to be active be able to be aware of what you're doing and whatnot and the more tired you're going to be all the time and that means you're going to be stopping a lot more frequently to rest and to sleep and you're not going to be able to, to drive very long because you're just going to be tired and you're just going to feel like you have no energy all the time and then you're going to go then when your med card expires and you gotta go get it renewed, you're gonna go for your checkup and the doctor's gonna tell you that you're immensely out of shape and he cannot pass you. And then and then you gotta and then that's it. You can't work anymore until you lose weight and get back in shape. And you know, you don't wanna you don't wanna fall into that. So what I like to do, and what I'm hoping that I can do, is I wanna I'm gonna be cooking a lot more. I'm gonna record some of my I'm gonna, I'm gonna record these cooks and whatnot because maybe this will help you maybe you're a trucker out there that's like but i don't really know how to cook like i've never cooked in my life and i'm gonna tell you it's not that hard it's very easy i just showed you how to cook a how to cook a really good meal that makes two meals like i i basically made uh those two little steaks that i got i got two of those little steaks from walmart they were about seven bucks for the pack i mean actually it comes with four i just made two tonight but it comes with four and it was like seven dollars for it it's not bad it's like two pounds it's like two pounds of steak it's like, it's like it's like almost two pounds of steak they're cut into little mini cuts and then i just bought the veggies and whatnot i mean whatever veggies you want to buy or if you just want to eat the steaks eat the steaks like that not a big deal but i made two meals i made a meal for tonight and i got a meal for tomorrow now so i don't have so if i go and stop at a truck stop tomorrow i don't have to eat truck stop food if i don't want to i can actually eat food that i cooked 
and I got plenty of other things in my fridge, chicken, things like that, that I want to be cooking later on. But what I'm saying is that this is not as hard as it looks. I mean, I'm already done cleaning, by the way. I was talking about the food, and uh, I'm I'm done washing these dishes. So, but I would hope that uh, more people want to get into maybe cooking in their trucks and not having to eat out so often because i mean you're out here for probably over 300 days or more out on the road if you're over the road truck if you're the over the road truck driver more than likely you're spending over 300 days on the road think about that think about if you needed if you were out 300 days you'd be stopping 300 nights or days whatever and if you decided you were just gonna eat truck stop food every day, you have to think about how that affects your body, how that affects your mind, and just how bad you're gonna feel after eating a year's worth of fast food, which is pretty much what is at most of the truck stops every day. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna get into cooking. Um, I'm also into into healthy cooking, so I'm gonna be cooking a lot of healthy meals. I bought me a lot of salads too, so I'm not really gonna make videos of salads because you know that's really just you just put it together and put some dressing on it and, and lightly dress it, you know. But I don't know, maybe I will. But uh, the finishing touch on all this, and before I continue this long rant, uh, one more thing I want to do to the utensils before I put them away for the night is I'll take a couple of disinfectant wipes and I'll just kind of put the finishing touches on it so the pan I'm gonna just disinfect it, everything just to make sure that I got everything's nice and clean and whatnot so the tongs that I used earlier just give it a quick little wipe down with the disinfectant wipe the same thing just give it a quick little scrub down with the disinfectant wipe does no harm to metal utensils or plastic so <laughs> I'm not gonna do it to the glass though because it, it makes the glass all smeary looking but and then that's it I'm just gonna leave them here to dry for a little bit and then that's it that's a full that's dinner for tonight dinner for tomorrow the cleanup's already done so i don't even have to cook tomorrow next time i cook won't have to be for another for another two days so i'm good to go guys but hey i hope you enjoyed that if y'all want to see more cooking videos let me know in the comments don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell as i'm going to continue putting out more videos also if you haven't already seen on some of the other videos i have officially launched a couple of my social media platforms i'm on instagram i'm on uh, tiktok and also feel free to join the free trucker lounge discord that uh that i created i created it for all of us truckers to just go on there and chit chat with each other about anything it doesn't even necessarily need to be about trucking if you're just if you're feeling lonely if you're feeling like you need to talk to somebody you don't really have anybody to talk to join the discord i'll talk to you send me a message you know we'll see what we can do with that but yeah until then guys have a good night stay safe on the road and i'll see you down and i'll see you down the road later